so here's the freaking aqua container <laughs> filled to capacity man this thing is heavy I have to go a pretty good way to get it filled uh, I wouldn't suggest filling this all the way even if uh, even if you have to like siphon off a gallon or two into like another container because man it's pretty heavy Somebody said it was about 60 pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot until you're walking with it. Uh, but, I'm going to try to stick it in there. It looks like the shelf, the bend in the shelf, like, corrected itself, like, over time. Uh, as the, you know, I, I've had it pretty much empty for a while. Or maybe only about a gallon in there. And, I don't know, it seems pretty straight now, so we're going to test it out. See how it does. I hope it doesn't buckle. I have my jug underneath there. I don't think it'll bust it, but let's hope it all doesn't come crashing down. Oh, boy. Things I do for you people. Ugh. That's the subscribe button for hernia. Hit subscribe for hernia. Ooh, it's definitely buckling a little. All right. Let's see, you can see that definitely bowing a bit. Under the weight. It's holding though. Let's give it some shaking, some rocking. It's holding in there. Um, hmm. Let's snap here. There we go. Put it back in a little bit. Slipped out. That was actually pretty easy to do. I thought it would be harder to move that. But it looks like... looks like these plastic corners are really strong. They really grip it well. Let's really see what happens here. I have a replacement piece if it breaks. Alright, it popped off. Didn't break though. Doesn't look like it broke. But it did pop off out of there. Slip it back in. So it looks like the weak point's definitely gonna be these things sliding out. I bet if you take zip ties and put it around there and really pull it tight, you know, take this out, pull it tight. I bet it wouldn't even give you, I bet you it would hold up. I don't think this grate itself is going to break. I mean, it's, it's made of this metal wire. It's pretty strong. It's going to bend, but I don't think it's going to break. I think your problem might be you're going down some seriously rough roads. Your problem will be this thing slipping out. So I would zip tie these pieces all together. You know, it's real easy to do with this. And I think you'll be fine. Just wanted to show the uh, connection piece here real good. Right, I went ahead and added zip ties to it to uh, keep it from sliding. See these metal pieces slide into this and it has little ridges inside that, that grip it. Well, when this bends down, these slide, it slides out of those ridges. They're pretty strong, but I mean, this is 60 pounds, so what I did is I just secured it where I couldn't pull on those. Uh, that's it without them. I don't know if the lighting's good enough, but I should probably get a good look at how it works there. And I'll go ahead and tie those all together as well. So, Alright, so I got my Reliance thing here. 
I added zip ties. I don't know if you can see. Sorry, I'm going to use the GoPro because I need my hands. Uh, I got zip ties on the back. Both directions. Uh, got as tight as I could. Uh, using some needle nose pliers. And I got two on the front. It's wrapped around the side piece, the piece next to it, and the bottom piece. And over here, it's the two bottom, the two side pieces are wired to it. Back there, there's a back piece, so there's even more uh, to, to hook it to. So, just test it out and see if it's any better. <sighs> see if it holds. One, two. <clears throat> Get in there. All right. So still bending uh, doesn't seem to be bending as not as pronounced it's a little bit of tension on these but not a whole lot let's see if we can pop it out right. shaking going down the road looks like the this piece down here is bearing some of the weight mm, it's not bending as bad This is much harder than you'll get down any road. I heard something go. Maybe some connecting pieces went out. No, it looks like it's all still together. I think it just smacked against the back wall. Yeah. I think uh, yeah, the back pieces are still in place. Yeah, I think if you zip tie these corners, I mean, I don't think you'll have any problem. And this this grade will probably, I mean, it's bending, but it's holding, and I think uh, I think it'll keep holding as the weight in the bottle goes down. It'll probably lift up. Uh, straighten out a bit that's what it did last time so I only had it about three quarters full last time maybe half a little over half something like that so there you have it I mean I love these things 20 bucks if I wasn't building cabinets this would be the way I'd go I mean if you're looking for a really easy and versatile solution I mean I got my knife hanging here got you know my my fire extinguisher on the side i put my glasses on here at night so they don't get broken you know just slide them in the hole i mean real easy real versatile if you want to do like i have space here i could actually you know if you have your bed going side to side like this you can actually get one that has another two of these and put it there. There's a three-piece set. It's $29, I think, on Amazon. I'll have a link for you. But, yeah, this is a way to go. If you, you know, if you're not confident building something or you just want something really light. I mean, this is definitely lighter than wood. Pull all this stuff out, it weighs nothing. So... And you can, I mean, you can transport it too. You know, I moved it from, I had it up there, moved it here, had it over here, moved it there. So, it's definitely versatile. Probably the most versatile solution I've come up with for van dwelling. So, yeah. Van life hack number two is about the quarter pot. Alright, here we have a standard Walmart issued Reliance Lego Blue on a five gallon bucket or a bag inside. Uh, common problem with the Lego 